Put the hand guards on. I'm not 100% happy with how they fit. Um, right here by the brake reservoir, she's tight, but I ground away enough so that it's not quite touching, but it's very close. And then there's a little bit of touching right here on the brake line as it comes up through, but uh, it's not much of anything, and that's not really a point where it's going to be moving up and down, so it shouldn't rub. All that said, uh, pretty good. Uh, running up and down the street a couple times, and what I can say immediately is that this bike is a lot more rangy than the demo model that I test drove. And what I mean by rangy is that uh, there's a lot of snap to the throttle. Uh, this thing doesn't like to idle along at a fixed speed. You're on or you're off. Uh, unless you're running a higher gear, it does let you run a higher gear smoothly. Um, I'm sure after it breaks in a little bit, that'll probably change and it'll smoothen out. But uh, that 300 two-stroke versus that 500 four-stroke, this is a rangier bike, and I'm surprised because the demo model that I took out was not uh, not like that. I suspect maybe what they had done was put on the more docile fuel setting, um, which apparently makes the bike more rideable. Mm. This is what uh, I was expecting out of a two-stroke when people were telling me about two-strokes being uh, a lot more snappy than a four-stroke. Um, 500 is a lot more rideable, I guess, and this is on a very limited experience. What I'm going to do is put the pipe guard on, which is why I've got you guys turned on. So this company, Profound, um, I think it's a relatively new company, but it's here in New Brunswick. So just down the road from me, and uh, that's kind of nice to be able to support the local guy. Uh, I ordered this yesterday, and it's here today. That's kind of cool. Uh, comparable in price with... Um, any of the other carbon fiber stuff you would see. It's supposed to be a pretty snug fit, which is kind of cool. And the texture on the outside, because of the way they make this, uh, it's more textured on the outside versus the really smooth finish that you normally would get. It's, uh, it's a pretty nice looking guard. Like I said, it's uh, textured on the outside, not smooth like I understand some of the other ones are, but what do I know? Um, they say that fit is really tight on these, so people, and it says right in the instructions, people assume they got the wrong one. Uh, start from the fat side and work your way around. It should almost snap on is what they say. And uh, you do need to make sure that your your uh, metal zap, zap, zap straps, I guess, I'm not sure what they're called, are uh, in place because you won't fit them around the pipe once this thing's sitting on because uh, it fits that tight. So let's see what we've got. Okay, they were not kidding about a tight fit. Pushing with uh, my knee and bracing up against the uh, frame and pulling in. We'll give it a little love tap with the rubber mall. Seems to have gotten it where it needs to be. They were not kidding. It's a tight fit. All right, we got it on. Uh, like I said, a little bit of the rubber mallet and just kind of bang it into place. It fits very tight. Um, put a couple of the metal zap straps on, they're stainless steel ones. That one was, uh, the one on the top was very tough, this one up here. Uh, it's just not long enough, so I'll, I'll give them that feedback and I'll let them know. Just include a slightly longer one so that you have some uh, run out to play with, so you can actually get it on snug. This one went on very snug. Um, I see here, it almost looks like a bit of a gap, but it's really just the seam of the uh, exhaust pipe that's holding it up, but as you see, that's on there very tight, and that won't be coming off. Skid plate's coming next, but I think it's time to go. Okay, this is a break-in ride. Just a uh, launch out from La Blue Canoe, serving big stop. Some new gloves. New bike, new helmet, because I uh, crashed about two weeks ago and that other helmet was done. All right, this bike kind of scares me to tell you the truth. Let's see what it does. It's going to be a gentle ride, because uh, I honestly don't know what to expect. Oh, it 
turn so easy. Oh, this bike is going to be a woods weapon. Promised my wife I'd go easy. It's been two weeks and my chest is still sore as hell. I don't know how deep that is. Looks actually kind of deep. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. I don't actually want that. Good tire on this thing, whatever it is. Suspension's super soft. I mean, it's good for the slow speed that I'm going right now, but if I was pushing harder, I think she'd, uh, I think it would let you down a bit. Oh. Well, it seems like a good spot to take a little two second break. Oh, I hope the video is turning out all right. Uh, I've never been on whatever this trail is. Uh, someone's access road whatever oh definitely putting grip puppies on they're fatter squishier uh they're the mud grip kind of foam over over grips that you put on they just slide over or roll over and they stick like hell um they work really well i just find for my extra large hands which is the glove i wear is an extra large uh which isn't to say a large large hand but i just find that more comfortable and that's what i've always ridden with um i find this pretty hard on the hands. I might keep doing it just to get used to it. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, uh, break in ride. <laughs> it is so shitty and muddy around here. Uh, I'm not pushing hard. Uh, I didn't go over to the other side. Uh, there's another trail system, but it's more rocky. And uh, obviously I don't have a skid plate, so I'm not too keen to get in there and bash the frame off of anything. So mud will wash off. Chicks dig scars, but only on me, not on my bike. Ah, oh, let's keep going. Tell you, a crash really takes the like lungs out of you. Everything else is good. I didn't hurt a shoulder or anything like that. Ribs are fine. It's just uh, sternum. I took the bar end into the chest. I was probably doing about 70 kilometers an hour, so uh, somewhere what's that, 40 miles an hour, I guess. And uh, I just I pulled up out of a rut. Got in the grass. I just didn't want to ride the rut. It was ATV rut, and I was getting on the gas a bit. And uh, in the grass that I didn't see until I nailed it was a chunk of concrete. It was actually the concrete skirt that goes around a raised manhole cover. It was along the side of the highway. And I biffed it hard and it sucked. Normally I'd stand up and just ride this shit, but uh, my chest just isn't up to the shock action. <laughs> Oops. And I gotta learn to use this clutch a bit better. And you gotta chase these ruts and run them out. Uh, I know this hole is deep. Oh, we're going to slip in. Uh, 
damn it. We're gonna get muddy. This is all we're going to get here for the next month, slop. I hate mud. Wow. I used to enjoy it quite a bit big mud runs. It's hard on equipment. I think I understand what getting on the pipe means. I think it's in miles per hour, so we're cruising about 36 miles an hour, which uh, the bike seems to be content to do. I don't know what gear I'm in, uh, six gear. Yeah. Okay, that was pretty easy to get used to. I enjoyed the surge of the power of the two-stroke. It is not as strong as the 500. I initially thought maybe it was. It was just the surge that comes on that feels really good. Great ride. Enjoyed it.